Alright guys, welcome back to Tiger Woods 05. It's been about a, what, a week and a half since I did my last uh, Tiger Woods video. But I honestly think this might be the last video I do um, for Tiger Woods for 05 and then we'll move on to 06 because um, unfortunately to play in the big tournaments, you know, before I could just play them now you kind of have to actually do the stuff that it would take to get into those tournaments um, and I don't have the time or I, and honestly I don't want to play in a bunch of you know the whole season of these it would take like another 20 some videos to do that um, so we're gonna go ahead and do the Tiger Woods shootout um, might probably do all four rounds because I, I don't know if the course is TBC Zawgrass the whole time. I think it might change. Um, but yeah, let's start it. Simulate and continue. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Gary McCord welcoming you to the always challenging stadium course at the TPC at Sawgrass, home to the Players' Championship. David Faraday is on the course with us today and will be following the players. Let's send it down to the first tee. Okay, so that's nice. They, uh, they do that in the tournaments now, so that's good. Yeah, I, I really wish I could do the whole thing, but with how many other games are coming out my work schedule right now I can barely even play anything after work anymore because Welcome. this is Gary McCord and David um I gotta turn this down a little bit there we go cause uh during starting in May it always gets really bad and it doesn't end until September. Um. Couldn't have planned it any better. And then with my own That's golf season being really, really busy right now, I'm starting my first uh, match play Friday at 2 p.m. So you know, hopefully I. Can make it through the first round. I mean, and I saw, I saw what everybody else shot for their qualifier. And uh, I'm gonna be honest. If I play even just halfway decent, I should have a really good shot at winning. Because well, only one person one might never come down. was under an 80, and um, normally I shoot around a 78. And that's what the lowest score was. Everything else was between 81 and 86. Spectacular drive. Well, a great chance for an eagle. I think uh I think that'll work. That is just unbelievable. <laughs> Your first double eagle. And for that, here's a trophy ball. Oh. Uh, We come back and just double eagle on the second hole. How about that? But what sucks is... So... We're playing off the white in the match play event. So I've been playing off the white when I go and play. A shot and I normally play off the blue, which is the furthest back. The white is the second furthest. And off the blue... Whoa. If you play any slower, you'll have to join the group behind. Off the blue, I'm normally under an 80. This could be headed for the green. Um, but off the white, I cannot get under an 80 for and some reason. For um, now I'm gonna chalk because I played on Sunday, and I shot a freaking what did I shoot? 81, and I had two birdies on that day on the back nine I can't the remember fourth. if I had any on the front nine um, okay the yellow 
ever heard the expression, slow as molasses? Yeah. Come on, swing the club. Shut up, Faraday. This thing will stop being yellow. I still think it still works. Yeah, a little bit. Dang well, it. that's in the first um, cut, and we all know that's the deepest. Still, you freaking yellow like crazy. It's going a little left, but it should catch the green. That's fine. Um. If you hit this straight, it's not going in. But I didn't hit very many drives on the range. Nope. Whoops. That's not gonna go in. I think if I hit it straight, it might have gone Five in. Five under par for the champion. Um, and I didn't practice putting at all. And what were my two worst things playing that day? My driving and my putting. My iron play on Sunday was spectacular. I this could not have hit him any better. I hit maybe one or two bad iron shots. I mean, I couldn't hit the irons any better. And my two, for the rough. Uh, my two birdies well, it were on off into the first par three. Nothing unmanageable from here. And well played approach. This could be very one of close. them is one of the hardest par Look threes in the course. Look for a break to the right. And I greened. No, I didn't green the last par three that I birdied. Well, um, I chipped in that one. Read it perfectly. I, I knew I had to. It was, it was a downhill chip, and it was probably about. It was probably a ten yard chip. And after about five yards, hole. you hit green. And I knew if I hit the green that it was going to go past the hole by five, ten feet. So like, I have to land this in the fringe, play the break on it, and let it go down. So that's exactly what happened. Looked at the break. Well, I think this one will be on the dance floor. Chipped it right where I wanted to, and it just rolled right in. Birdie. I don't think really? so. Um. And then the the first part three on the back nine. I hit, and it was probably three foot, no, four foot out. Breaking about six inches to the right. A teeth made it. But, uh, the first hole, I hit my driver and left. I was just like, what in the world? Certainly picked the right club on this one. Because my miss with Should the driver here. is not left unless I pull it. And it just kind of... It drew left, and I was like, what in the hell? And unfortunately, I'm, you know, under trees. It's it's uphill to the green. I can't... The longest. I can't draw it up there because I'm only like 90 yards from the hole. Which is another reason I like playing from the white, because I have to use my wedges so much. And it, it just gets like uh, another wedge. But I had to hit it really low, Can and you that unfortunately, shot? I hit it a little too high. It caught a poor strategy, oops. poor execution. Uh, it caught a everything. tree limb and just went straight down. Then I had about 65 yards, and again, it just clipped the very top of a, a tree because I tried to go over it. Came down just on the green, missed my putt bogey. Second hole, same thing the with night. the driver. And this time. That's the kind of shot that sends a definite what happened on the second hole? Trying 
trying to think. I had to keep it low. Cause I bogeyed um that Ball one as well. Ready for an eagle attempt. Oh yeah, that's right. I was a little bit over. I hit a little a little too hard. So Not can't make a birdie, but I can make an eagle and a double all day. <laughs> um, but then the third hole is a downhill par three. And normally this one's around a nine or an eight iron for me, but this time it was only 135 and it's downhill. So I was like, oh God. You know, that's, that's it's a really small pitching wedge. And so I choked down and hit a little three quarter, like kind of like a pitch. He really pulverized this one. I wonder if he didn't get too much of it. And it was a little long, but uh, on the green, just to the left. This looks good. Should be safely on the green. Two putt for par. This putt for birdie. Ten. Then the next par three is 188 yards to the middle. Pins in the back. I was like, all right, six iron. But it's it's the iron that I hit the worst. But I, I kind of changed my backswing a little bit um, in the past couple weeks to, to kind of, I don't know, I, I hit them a lot straighter and I actually get a lot more power with Whoa, them with doing it this way. And man, you could not have, oh, I hit the tree. Uh, you couldn't of drawn it any straighter to the hole. Reaching this green in two is truly impressive. And we all looked at it and everybody was like, that's got to be two foot from the hole. It's got to be. And it turns out, you know, it landed about three or four feet before the hole and actually just rolled onto the fringe. So I wasn't even on the green, but two putt par. Because this, and then I was hitting my pitching wedge. No, what was it? What hole? What freaking thing did I hit? I had. This could find the shaggy stuff. So, how bad is it, David? Call the nighttime talk show writers, McCord. I'm in over my head with that line. Oh, that's too hard. This for four straight birdies. I don't remember what hole it was, but um, it was an uphill shot. I had 155 to the middle of the green. The pin was on the front, so I was like, okay, a small nine iron because. I can't hit my pitching wedge 150. This approach looks like it'll you know? catch the grain. 145 is max if I hit it perfect. That's normal. That's what I normally do. And so I hit a a choke down, just kind of chop nine iron, and it goes 30 foot past the hole. That nine iron went 165, and I'm like, what? It's uphill as well. I was like, what the hell's going on? Sometimes it's like magic the way you put spin on the ball. Then Come I'm, on, show us a little trick. I'm in the rough. One, ten out. And that's normally yeah, what I hit a full sand once. One, ten. And this one's uphill as well. Now I know in the rough, you know, you get that little... Um, you might get like a flyer or something like that, but... This thing went we'll be on the green, but it's still like a 130. Part. You know, over the green, I gotta chip it back, chip it down. <laughs> I already know what this is for. The birdies are flying uh, all over the place today. That's six in a row, and definitely worth the trophy ball. I was like, I don't know what this is. 
Um, But yeah, if I got my if I if my driver was on, it wouldn't even have mattered if my putting was bad, because I, I would have at least you know gotten easy pars. But because my drive was off, it was like this is heading straight down the center of the fairway. A, there were a couple left in the rough under trees. The par fives, it, it was just bad. But for me. See, it's really odd. Lawn, I, I this need to go to the range for some reason. It goes in. That was your 12th birdie of the day, and for that, we present you with the Birdie Buster Trophy Ball. Oh, okay. yeah. Like, for me, if I don't go to the range, the shots, my sh my sh um, my hitting is awful because I need that little range time and I don't get my the 16th hole at TPC Sawgrass is a rhythm a birdie here I guess and you'll set the record for most birdies in a round um, back for quite a while like I didn't start hitting good tries huge until do you see, David? About 140 left here. Hole 13. Like that. That's the. That's the. It took that long to hit good drives. But like, when they were good, they were good. Like that shot right there. Really pulled off a couple of great shots to get on this green. I don't do that. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> that eagle makes an incredible four in this round. I love how he was just certainly worth a trophy ball. Like so disappointed when he missed that. That's funny. Um, because there was one par four. It was three hundred and forty some yards to the middle, and I hit my. I was pissed. I was pissed at the last hole because I. Um, I bogeyed another one. I was, a new it was just getting to me at this point, and uh, so I was just like, "Screw it! I'm just hitting this thing." And it was the best drive I'd hit all day. The best drive I've hit in the past couple of weeks. And we walk up to it. It's my dad's ball, his his friend who's his boss, and his son. They're all in the around the same area, and then my ball is freaking 80 yards ahead, and I only have 40. I have less than 40 yards to the middle, which means I drove that thing 290 to Get 300 this. yards, which I was just like, okay. What a fantastic swing! Ah. This attempt for a tenth straight birdie. Oh, nice. Oh, that was a decent effort. 19 under par for the. Minus three is second place. Just uh, let you know. <sighs> and then we ha I have two tournaments I'm playing in. One at the end of this month, and one towards the end of next month. Um, so, I'm playing round two and three uh, without... It, you guys won't see it, you, you'll see round four. So, I'll... Welcome to the final round of this p All right, and I'm back at least. So yeah, there's no way I would be able to uh, do these tournaments anyway because 
Just as of right here, now, you can sink this in two. I'm fucking pitching this. What are you talking about? Oh wow. <laughs> if will help here, it usually does. As of right now, it's already just as long as four rounds <laughs> in 2000 in 04. So I, it's basically like I'm doing five rounds instead of just four. Um, and I think it has to do with the loading. I think the loading time between holes is a bit longer. The name of this. Um. Why in the hell was it aiming way out to the right? Watch out for that long grass oh. here. <laughs> it was aiming me in the fairway, and I moved it way into the rough. If I'm not mistaken, this should find the green. Faraday, give me some of your forensics on this one. Not too tricky here, Gary. Maybe. <sighs> but, uh, yeah. I can't wait to get to 06, though. O six is kind of where this this era of Tiger Woods games um, came to an end. That was like the last video game where it's kind of like O two, three, four, five, and six were all very kind of they were Looks they were like really it'll good. Wind up on the right side of the green. And they had a lot of this similarities. A lot of good content. And then 07. Can I get there? Ah. 07 is where that started to die down a bit. Um, but then, of course, 08 was. 08 and 09 were the last two on the PlayStation 2. Um, nine iron. So oh, 09 got everything. like a bare bones treatment, got almost nothing it. in it. And I really can't remember what 08 had. Because I remember 07 does still have the match plays. Um. But I think it was just match plays and tournaments. You seem to have a talent for spinning the ball. Let's see it. I also have a talent for aiming it into the rough for because <laughs> I thought it was the fairway. Definite message to your opponent. Should have a good chance from there. This for a second consecutive birdie. You better have a good chance from three foot. Four. And I got the all greens and all fairways trophy ball. I got back to back Eagles trophy ball. Um, and that's it. Oh yeah, and Roy McIlroy won um, the Wells Fargo Hold. tournament, whatever the hell it's called. Um, which is, again, he, he was in a bit of a drought, so that's a uh, good thing he won the tournament. It's going, going, gone! What a great swing! I was really excited after round one, though, because Mickelson was leading at minus seven. And I think he finished after the four days over par. And I was like, what in the world happened? Eagle attempt coming up here. It was after day two. So he had a four over round. And so he was minus three. I was like, he was only three back. 
It's like, all right, he's still in it, you know. He if he would just gotten level, he'd be still be in the lead. And then after that, I think he, f I think after day three, he was level par. I can't remember, but I know he finished over par. And I was just like, come on. The Long Ranger just bombed one. Nothing wrong with this. Oh. This for five in a row. Got it in. But I think people are going to start looking at the, uh, ah. they better start looking at the FedEx Cup points pretty soon because they got the PGA Championship. I think it's the PGA Championship Ooh, that's the next major pretty soon. Um, and DeShane is number one, and Justin Thomas is here. number two, but only by 50 points. Ooh, he's gonna like this one. He's only, you know, behind DeShane by 50 for points. Six birdies in a row. And I think number three is only down by 100. And drop. 100 some. So if somebody that's in the top, you know, couple, top few of them can win that major, the they can start pulling away. Oh, look at the air underneath this drive. Oh yeah. That's a good shot. Not really. What made the part of the We're about at 69, our right, level par throughout. Each round takes around 18, 19 minutes to do in this one, and each round in 04 would take about 14, 14 and a half minutes max. Some of them I could get down to 13 minutes. Um, so hopefully in 06. David, this is a long drive, but it's heading to the right. They start letting you, like, decide how long the tournaments are like if they were two days I might be able to do it you know but That's I can't play incredible. four rounds every single day for the next you know however many tournaments there are just to get in all these because I would have had to play in I think almost every tournament to get into the players and then for the next major I think I, I think I could have then just gone to the next major but after that I would have had to play in a couple more tournaments to get into the next one and just can't do it and so the Tiger would shoot shot out like this puts a lot of pressure on the competition and the only one longest putt yeah it'll probably be unavailable oh okay it uh yeah, I was actually really fast with that Wow, they just made an 85 foot putt. You just won the long putt trophy ball. Oh, there we go. Jeez, on day three, 
There were like three people tied at minus 11. Now they all finished at minus 7. A titanic drive here. A good feeling about this one. 15 under. 15 under through 14. You know, got Mickelson, Singh, Toms, and Woods all tied in number two. Take. Concentrate now. You could set a new birdie record here. Not a great shot, but it'll catch the green. This putt would make it 12 straight birdies. No. Oh. Hold. Ah, there's some water there. I think this ball's headed for the next county. What a swing! I like the looks of this shot. Seventeen. <laughs> I like it towards the end. They just start every all. Fifteen, seventeen, twenty under for the day. Get out the binoculars. This one's crushed. What's this for? There's only a seventeenth hole, isn't it? So it's not for all of the greens. On and two, and ready oh, for an eagle attack. Oh, five. Piece of cake. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Ever see going with a 58 degree wedge for this shot? Ah, you've got to love that. That's fantastic. You were definitely on fire. Thank you. We only won by 72 shots, so I mean, it was all right. Whoa. Okay. Didn't show all those trophy balls. Good on you, mate. I'm Adam Scott, and you've just won your first PGA Tour event. First and last, man. <laughs> Hi, what? I'm Adam Scott with EA Sports, and you've just won Player of the Month. Okay. Oh, interesting. But, like I said, that's going to be it for Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2005. I hope you guys enjoyed the match plays, the legends, and the one tournament. Uh, I'll see you in 06. Have a great day. I'll see you. Bye.